हेलो एवरी वन सो इन टू डेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द पेपेलोस क्वेमस डिजीज एंड इन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस डिजीज लाइक वी हैव इन दिस डिसऑर्डर वी हैव सम प्राइमरी रीजन्स एंड वी हैव द सेकेंड रिलीजन्स सो प्राइमरी रीजन्स एंड सेकेंड रिलीजन सेकेंड रिलीजन्स आर दोज विच आर विजिबली विजिबल एक्सफोलिएशन सो इन द प्राइमरी रीजन्स वी हैव टू टाइप्स लाइक द वन इज द पेप्यूल्स and the other one is the plaques so in the papules the uh, what we call papules so in papules the size is less than 1 cm while in the plaques we have the size more than 1 cm and these are the solid raised lesions so primary lesions were papules and plaques so in these were the solid raised lesions now in the secondary lesions in secondary lesions we have the scales we have scales which is a visible exfoliation of the stratum corneum which is a visible exfoliation of stratum corneum so in the papillosquamous disease first we are going to discuss about the psoriasis now what what is psoriasis so psoriasis basically it is a chronic disease we have to remember that the in definition psoriasis is a chronic disease so it is a chronic and it is t cell mediated so it is t cell mediated inflammatory skin disease so it is a inflammatory skin disease and in inflammation it is a t cell mediated disease and it is a chronic disease so this is a definition of the psoriasis that psoriasis is a chronic means uh, after some time psoriasis will develop and it is a t cell mediated here the immunity is t cell mediated and it is a inflammatory skin disease now what is the etiopathogenesis of the psoriasis so in the uh, etiopathogenesis etiopathogenesis we have to remember that in this what is what were the genetics so genetics involvement so here in this we have hla b27 and one more hla that is cw6 so in uh, early onset in early onset of psoriasis we have the genetic that is hla cw6 so it is a early onset psoriasis early onset psoriasis while the hla b27 it is a psoriatic spondylitis please remember it is a psoriatic spondylitis we have to remember this marker hla b27 it is a psoriatic spondylitis so this one is the important one hla b27 now uh, which infection uh, in psoriasis can occur by infections also so most commonly which infection involvement is there so in the infection involvement we have to remember that it is a group a group a beta hemolytic beta hemolytic streptococcus involvement is there the infection which cause psoriasis is a group a it is a group a beta hemolytic streptococcus and basically when this infection involved then which type of psoriasis will occur then gutted psoriasis will occur which type of psoriasis gutted psoriasis will occur so gutted psoriasis will occur when there is due to infection so we have to remember the infection group a beta hemolytic streptococcus and it is a gutted psoriasis now uh, some drugs also cause the psoriasis so we have to study about the drugs so in drugs we have like drugs can also cause psoriasis and in the drugs we have lithium we have lithium we have anti malarial drugs anti malarial drugs we have the beta blockers we have the anesthetics so these were the uh, drugs which also cause the psoriasis and in the season also like which type of season will cause psoriasis so mostly in the season we have to remember the winter season cause psoriasis winter season cause psoriasis so this is the etiogenesis of the uh, etiology of the psoriasis that is genetic involvement due to infection due to seasons or due to some drugs also cause the psoriasis now the next one that is the types of psoriasis so in the types of psoriasis we have first one that is the chronic plaque psoriasis chronic plaque psoriasis 
so in the conic uh, chronic plaque psoriasis as we can see in this image like there is a chronic involvement because skin also almost look like whitish patch on the skin is there so it is a chronic case and it is a chronic plaque psoriasis please remember that it is the most common type of psoriasis so most common type of psoriasis is chronic plaque so we have to remember that the most common the most common is chronic plaque psoriasis which is also known as as it is look like a vulgar thing so it is also known as psoriasis vulgaris psoriasis vulgaris please remember the other name of chronic plaque psoriasis is the psoriasis vulgaris and it is the most common type of psoriasis that is chronic plaque psoriasis now the second one the second type that is the gutted psoriasis and as i already told you that gutted psoriasis is caused by a infection and which type of infection that is a group a beta hemolytic streptococcus infection and in this we can see as we see here a rain drop like lesions were there so it look like a rain drop like lesions so it is a rain drop like lesions so rain drop like lesions is seen in the gutted psoriasis and it is due to the infection and the infection is group a beta hemolytic streptococcus infection and which cause the sore throat in the children which cause sore throat in children please remember it that it goes sore throat in the children and most common it is occur on which side so most common site involvement is the trunk one most common site involvement is trunk so for this the treatment given is for this the drug of choice for gutted psoriasis the drug of choice is erythromycin that is a erythromycin and erythromycin is a macrolide antibiotics please remember that it is a macrolide antibiotics so this is these are the two types of psoriasis first one is a chronic plaque psoriasis second one is the gutted psoriasis gutted psoriasis we can see the raindrop like lesions please remember that raindrop like lesions were seen in the gutted psoriasis and the most common type of psoriasis is the psoriasis vulgaris now the third type the third type is the pustular psoriasis the third type is the pustular psoriasis the third type is pustular psoriasis in which we can see the lots of pustules as we can see here easily lots of pustules we can see so in this a uh, lake or a uh, seeds of pus we can see lakes or sheets of pus we can see and it is like uh, in this uh, we can also see that uh, why the pustular psoriasis will occur so what is the cause so reason what is the reason so it is caused due to the uh, when we have sudden change the uh, st sudden stoppage of systemic steroids then this reaction will occur so reason is sudden stoppage of systemic steroids systemic steroids it cause this it cause this pustular psoriasis and in this we have like uh, it can be generalized or it can be localized so in generalized it is of two types pustular psoriasis it is a generalized or it can be a localized particular at a place so in generalizes also generalized type also we have two types that one is the acute one and the other one is due to the pregnancy in pregnancy also cause this type of psoriasis so in the acute one we have in acute one we have bone jambus type while in the pregnancy we have impetigo herpetiformis impetigo herpeti for me so please remember that it is a misnomer as we can see it is not a herpetiformis disease so it is a psoriasis disease but then but when it occur in pregnancy we can also called as impetigo herpetiformis that is a pustular psoriasis which appear in the pregnancy which appear in the pregnancy so this one is the important one that here impetigo herpetiformis is a misnomer okay now the second one fourth type the fourth type one is the erythrodermic 
सोरियासिस इरेथ्रो डर्मिक सोरियासिस एज वी कैन से इरेथ्रोडर्मिक मीन्स देर इज इन्वॉलमेंट ऑफ द ब्लड सेल्स एंड विच कोज द इन्फ्लामेशन ऑल ओवर द बॉडी एंड रेड अपियरेंस विल बी देयर सो इट इज़ अ एक्सपोलिएटिव सोरियासिस प्लीज रिमेंबर इट इज़ अ एक्सपोलिएटिव सोरियासिस विच इन्वॉल्व ऑलमोस्ट मोर देन नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ द बॉडी सर्फेस एरिया विच इन्वॉल्व मोर देन नाइन्टी परसेंट बॉडी सर्फेस एरिया एंड इट कैन बी सीन विदाउट स्केलिंग और विद स्केलिंग बट हेयर इन अरिदमा विल बी देयर मीन्स ऑल ओवर द रेडनेस अपियरेंस विल बी देयर एज वी कैन सी हेयर इन दिस इमेज वी कैन ईजिली सी दैट रेडनेस इज देयर सो दिस रेडनेस इज अरिदमा एंड इट कैन बी विद स्केलिंग और विदाउट स्केलिंग विद और विदाउट स्केलिंग नाउ द फिफ्थ वन दैट इज द नेल सोरियासिस द फिफ्थ टाइप ऑफ सोरियासिस दैट इज अ नेल सोरियासिस सो इन नेल सोरियासिस वैन द सोरियासिस इज इन द नेल एंड वी कैन ईजिली सी सो मेनी टाइप्स लाइक हेयर दिस वर्ल्ड द द नेल अपियरेंस देर इज पिटिंग ऑन द नेल्स वी कैन ईजिली सी इरेगुलर पिटिंग इज देयर सो दिस इज अ नेल सोरियासिस एंड द सिक्स टाइप दैट वन इज द सोरियाटिक आर्थ्रोपैथी सोरियाटिक आर्थ्रोपैथी सो इन द सोरियाटिक आर्थ्रोपैथी वी हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट इट इज सीन इन द सैरो नेगेटिव and in this most commonly the joints involvement will be there as we can see here distal interphalangeal joints will involvement will be there so in psoriatic arthritis we can see it is a sero negative and we can also it is a erosive arthritis it is a erosive arthritis so in the erosive arthritis means it is seen in the classical joint involved and the joint which were involved here is the distal interphalangeal joint please remember distal interphalangeal joints involvement will be there and in this we can we have a type that one is the this type that is a mutilens type so it is a worst type of arthritis so it is a mutilens arthritis please remember that it is a worst type of arthritis worst type of arthritis is there and the another one we have that one is the uh, uh, digit as we can see here the digits involvement is there so, sometimes it look like a sausage digits also uh, maybe i don't have that image so it is a sausage like sausage digits also we can see and that is a dactylitis that is a dactylitis now we have a uh, one more type that is a scalp psoriasis is also there we will study it later so now we have some x ray finding of the psoriasis so in the x ray finding when there is uh, distal interphalangeal joint will involvement is there so we can see the pencil cup appearance we can see pencil cup appearance so pencil cup appearance on x ray we can see so it is a type of psoriasis so it is a psoriasis in this way we can identify pencil cup like this is a pencil this type of image we can see easily on the x ray now what are the clinical features of the chronic plague so in chronic plagues we have to uh, study that there is skin involvement and also there is some nail changes will be there so skin changes we have to study in clinical features and also we have to study the nail changes in the clinical features so in the skin changes we have lesions and we have named features some features will be there so lesions will be there on skin and we have some named features in named features like ospids will be there or wall or hypopigmented lesions will be there on the skin so let's study about the lesions in the clinical features so in the lesions as we can see this image so in this we can easily see that there is a scaly papules and plaques will be there there is a scaly papules and plaques and it looks like a silver white color so we have to write in the lesions that it is a red 
केली पॅप्युल्स अँड प्लेक्स अँड द स्केल इज लुक्स लाईक अ द स्केल इज अ सिल्वर व्हाईट सिल्वरी व्हाईट इज देअर अँड इट इज अ मिसॉसियस सो अँड मोस्टली इट इज सीन ऑन द एक्सटेन्सर रिझन सो डिस्ट्रीब्युशन इज ऑन द एक्सटेन्सर रिझन सो डिस्ट्रीब्युशन इज ऑन एक्सटेन्सर साईड वी कॅन इझिली सी दिस केली रिझन अँड इट इज अ सिल्वर व्हाईट पॅच और पॅप्युल्स और प्लेक इज सीन देअर नाव इन द नेम्ड फीचर्स वी हॅव टू स्टडी नेम्ड फीचर्स सो इन द नेम्ड फीचर्स वी हॅव फर्स्ट वन दॅट इज द ओस्पिड साईन and ospid sign we can see when there is a glass slide we put on the lesions then the lesions got scraped so that is a ospid sign so it is seen on glass slide that is a garrett's test that is a grads test g r a t t a g e grads test it is a scrape lesions and it is a silver white lesions first one it is a silvery white lesion and we can see res- red moist membrane is there red moist membrane we can see and also we can see a pin point bleeding spot pin point bleeding spot so this one is the ospid sign while the another sign that is a kobner's phenomena so in the kobner's phenomena as we already know in this we can see a line on the skin that is a isomorphic response and it is appearance of a uh, uh, this line can seen on the trauma a long line of trauma over the normal skin that is the kobner's phenomena as we can see in this image now we have types of kobner's phenomena like uh, this is a short note we have to study that the kobner's phenomena are of true true kobner's phenomena we have the pseudo kobner's phenomena and we have the rare kobner's phenomena so the psoriasis is a true kobner's phenomena please remember in this it is a true kobner's phenomena that is a due to the immunological that is a immunological so true kobner's phenomena is a immunological phenomena while the pseudo is a auto inoculation auto inoculation so in the example of the true kobner's phenomena is like psoriasis like the lichen planus which we will study in next video lichen planus and vitiligo so these were the these show the true kobner's phenomena please remember that these two shows us the true kobner's phenomena well the false kobner phenomena is shown molluscum contagious molluscum contagiosum while the rare form is seen by lichen nitidus lichen nitidus it shows the shows us the rare cobers phenomena and another one that is a derriere disease and the one more that is a kaposi sarcoma kaposi sarcoma so all this shows us the rare cobners phenomena now the next one we also have we uh, in psoriasis we can also see one ring that is a warnoff's ring warnoff's ring it is also seen in the psoria- psoriasis and in warnoff's ring but we can see as we can see this hypopigmented uh, lesion are uh, hypopigmented skin around the lesions so in this worn off sign we can see a hypopigmented hypo pigmented rim around the lesion of psoriasis around lesion of psoriasis now the changes clinical features of the nail psoriasis as we can see here in this image we can see that there were a uh, pits pits were there and which is over the nail plate and these pits were irregular irregular deep pits we can see 
irregular deep pits we can see and the uh, it's we also see the this one that is a subungual hyperkeratosis means we are under the nail plate we can see hyperkeratosis will be there so it is a subungual hyper keratosis so it is a uh, when when the nail bed is pushed upward and beside it under it there is a oncolysis will be there and the detachment of the nail plate from the underlying nail blade it is a subungual hyper keratosis and also like we have one more feature that is the salmon oil uh, salmon patch that is a oil drop cataract but that one is seen in the galactosemia now the next type we already uh, study the sixth type of psoriasis now this one is the seventh one that is a scalp psoriasis scalp psoriasis as we can see in this image a lot of white patch is seen under the in the hairs so that is a scalp psoriasis and the eighth one that is a extensor psoriasis which occur on the extensor side of our but uh, sorry flexor psoriasis that is a flexor psoriasis so in the flexor psoriasis it is occurs on the flexor side of our body like under the breast we can easily see so this were the eight type of psoriasis and all the clinical features now what we can see in the histopathological image of the psoriasis so this is a histopathological image of the psoriasis so in this we can easily see that there is hyperkeratosis or thick skin of substratum corneum so it is a thick stratum corneum we can see and in the upper layer we can also see the in stratum corneum it is a thick one and we can also see the nucleus in stratum corneum so nucleus is also seen in the stratum corneum and the time between the maturation from the stratum basal to stratum corneum it is like reduced normally it is uh, 24 56 days but here uh, it reduces so this one is a neutrophilic microapsis and also we can see that there were regular depressions will be there so there is regular elongation so we can also see the regular regular elongations in the histopathological image and the time of time is also reduced so this is the histopathological image now in the treatment of psoriasis we can have three types of treatment for the psoriasis the first one we can uh, give the topical treatment we can give topical treatment and topical treatment is given when the body involvement body surface involvement is less than 10 percent body surface involvement if less than 10 percent body surface involvement is there we have to give the topical treatment and if it is more than 10 percent body surface involvement then we have to give the phototherapy or we can also give the systemic drugs systemic drugs if it is more than 10 percent body surface area involvement now if less than 10 percent body surface involvement we have to give the topical therapy and in topical therapy but we have to give so in this we have to give some uh, drugs or some moisturizer to reduce the scaling so reduce scaling to reduce the scaling we have to give moisturizer and in moisturizer we have the emollients we have emo Lients. so this is a moisturizer to reduce the scaling and to reduce the inflammation we have to give the anti-inflammation anti-inflammatory drug and in anti-inflammatory we can give the topical steroids topical steroids or we can also uh, give the third one we can also give the dns synthesis which include like coal tar or diethanol like coal tar or diethanol we can give and to normalize the keratinization we have to give some uh, keratinizing agent like which increase the keratinization which uh, normalize the keratin so that one is the to normalize keratinization we can give 
विटामिन ए एंड विटामिन डी सो विटामिन डी इज कैल्सीट्रायोल एंड विटामिन ए वी हैव टू गिव द रेटिनोइड दैट इज अ टॉपिकल रेटिनोइड वी कैन गिव और वी कैन ऑल्सो गिव द टेजोरिटीन so these were the topical treatment we can give now if more than 10% body surface involvement is there then we have to give the phototherapy and it increases the anti inflammatory cytokines because we have to reduce the anti inflammation so what work phototherapy will do it increase the anti inflammatory cytokines so in the anti inflammatory cytokines we have like interleukin 4 interleukin 10 and in this phototherapy which type of range of ultraviolet b is used so ultraviolet b is used and it is raised between 311 plus minus 2 nanometer 311 phototherapy range is used and in this we have pua puva that is a soralin plus ultraviolet a p4 in which p stands for soralin plus UVA means ultraviolet A is used. That is a photosensitizer. Now we can also give the Jokerman regime. So in the uh, Jokerman regime, we have phototherapy plus call that is given. So I am going to write here. We can also give the Jokerman regime, or the other regime is in grams regime. so in the jokerman's regime what is there there is phototherapy plus there is ultraviolet uh, coal tar plus there is use of coal tar while in the in grams regime we have phototherapy plus anthralin plus coal tar or we can also say that phototherapy anthralin coal tar plus jokerman regime we can give now the other treatment also we can give instead of phototherapy we can also give systemic drugs and in systemic drugs the first drug is methotrexate methotrexate so in methotrexate basically this drug inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase so it inhibit dihydrofolate reductase enzyme so it inhibit this and it inhibit it in s phase s phase and it is a like it is through it is the first drug of choice methotrexate is first drug of choice for the erythrodermic or psoriatic arthritis for erythro dermic type of psoriatic arthritis or the other one that is psoriatic arthritis psoriatic arthritis we have to give the drug that is methotrexate and the it is second drug of choice for the pustular psoriasis in which lots of pustules we can see pus like uh, drops on the skin that is a pustular psoriasis so it is a first uh, this methotrexate drug is first drug of choice for erythrodermic and psoriatic arthritis while it is the second drug of choice for pustular psoriasis now uh, this methotrexate have some side effect also so for the side effect of methotrexate we have like it uh, suppress our bone marrow so bone marrow suppression will be there so bone marrow suppression is there it can also cause the hepatotoxicity or it is a x category drug it is a x category drug now the second drug that is the cyclosporin cyclosporin so in the cyclosporin the mechanism of action of cyclosporin is calcineurin calcineurin inhibitor so it inhibits the calcineurin so it is a calcineurin inhibitor and its indication is in it is used in the erythrodermic erythrodermic psoriasis and in erythrodermic psoriasis the first drug of choice is methotrexate as here i wrote now cyclosporin it is used in the erythrodermic psoriasis and it has the side effect the side effect is it cause hypertension or it cause the nephrotoxicity 
nephrotoxicity now the third systemic drug the third systemic drug is a oral retinoid drug oral retinoid drug the name is aki acetretin and the it is a mechanism of action that it is a vitamin a analog vitamin a analog and it is a first drug of choice it is a first drug of choice for the pustular psoriasis please remember it is a first drug of choice for pustular psoriasis and the second drug of choice is for pustular psoriasis is the methotrexate as here second drug of choice is the methotrexate while the first drug of choice is the oral retinoids that is acetretin now the what were the uh, side effect of these drugs so the side effects of these drugs were like they increase the total cholesterol they increase triglycerides they are hepatotoxic they cause hepatotoxic and they include the teratogenic category x drug they are teratogenic category x drug now the other drug for the treatment the fourth drug is the aprimilasat aprimi last so it is the mechanism of this one is it is a phosphodiesterase phosphodiesterase four inhibitor it is phosphodiesterase four inhibitor and it is indicated in psoriatic arthritis it is indicated in psoriatic arthritis so and the side effect of this drug is it cause the diarrhea and headache diarrhea and headache these were the side effects of the aprimis lisat now the fifth one sixth one drug fifth one that is a systemic steroids drug systemic steroids drug and these drugs are contraindicated in psoriasis these contraindicated in psoriasis but we can give these drugs in one condition and that condition is the ppp that is a pustular psoriasis of pregnancy means in pregnant female we have to give the systemic steroids drug that is a pustular psoriasis in pregnancy like if in pregnant female the psoriasis will be there then we have to give the systemic drugs and it is the that is impetago herpetiformis as i already told you it is a impetago which is a misnomer we by name of impetago herpetiformis we can uh, imagine that it is a herpetiformis disease but no it is a psoriasis disease but it a psoriasis occur in pregnancy then we called it impetago herpetiformis and it is a misnomer it is a misnomer so and the second drug of choice systemic drug is cyclosporine cyclosporine we can also give the cyclosporine so these were the treatment for the psoriasis that's all for today i hope this video will benefit you thank you